So this question has a couple of things going on with it. Uh, the most obvious and the initial thing I will say is that it's a diagram question. So we have this diagram provided. Looks like we have some gears, gear A, gear B, gear C. Looks like we're told a number of teeth for each gear. And that's pretty much it. I mean, we can obviously see the sizes. B is the largest, followed by A, and then C being the smallest. But I'm also going to say that there's some translate word problem characteristics to this question, which really just means that it's a long question, right? There's a lot to read. So we have here, and then we have the actual question down here. So there might be some uh, some translation to happen here, which by which I mean there may be something just to write down um, in terms of quantitative information or, or how these gears work together that is useful to write down instead of having to go back up to the passage or a question and reread the information again. So let's get started with reading and see how these two strategies work together. So the question says a gear ratio R to S is the ratio of the number of teeth of two connected gears. Okay, so R to S ratio has to do with the number of teeth and the gears have to be connected, right? So again, we're looking at, well, these two gears are connected. So A connects with B, but then B also connects with C right there. Um, so let's keep reading. And then it says the ratio of the number of revolutions per minute of two gears of two gear wheels is S to R. So it looks like whatever R and S are, we just reverse the order of that, and that will give us the ratio for the RPM for those connected gears. In the diagram below, gear A is turned by a motor. The turning of gear A causes gears B and C to turn as well. So, you know, hopefully that makes some sense. Um, <clears throat> so gear A starts to turn, and then that makes the rest of these uh, turn as well. So gear A, going down here, if gear A is rotated by the motor at a rate of 100 RPM. Okay, so now we're getting some more information. So gear A, in fact, let's just write down what we know about each of these gears. So gear A, gear B, and gear C. So what do I know about gear A? Well, the question is now telling me that it has a 100 RPM, and we also know that it has 20 teeth. Gear B, we know that it has 60 teeth, but we do not know the RPM. So just put a little blank. Gear C, also, we do not know the RPM, but we do know that it has 10 teeth. Okay, so this is kind of all, so far, part of my like translate word problem strategy. I'm just writing down the information so that I can just look at what I've written and not really have to go back up to the question to look anymore. So I, I th I'm pretty confident that, um, you know, that what I've written so far captures everything that I read in the question. So the rest of the question says, what is the number of revolutions per minute for gear C? So here's what we're trying to find. Okay, so if that's what we're trying to find, and this is all that we've been given then how do we use what we've been given um, to find what we're looking for? Well, what I know is that each of these gears, we for each of these gears, we do have information regarding the number of teeth that they have. So I'm going to start off with this R to S ratio. I'm asked for gear C, but... Um, hmm. So let, let's try this. So... A A to B ratio, right, because that's just saying gear A and gear B are connected, which they are right here, would give me an R to S ratio. Again, that's the teeth, which is 20 to 60. When I simplify this ratio by dividing both of these by 20, what I end up with is a 1 to 3. That's my simplified ratio. And then for S to R, Again, that's just reversing those numbers, right? So S to R would turn into 60 to 20. And again, reducing the ratio, I get 3 to 1. Now, how is this helpful? Well, this is helpful because I know that gear A's RPM is 100. Right, so this 3 represents the number 100. Okay, so I need to figure out, well, what does this one, if three represents 100, what does one represent? Because that gives me the RPM value for B. Again, this is 
just to remind you, this is an A to B. It's a lot of ratios going on here, but hopefully we're following along. This is this relationship is for A to B, but we're focusing in on our S to R ratio. So what is what is one third of one hundred? Right, one third of one hundred is thirty three point three, and it keeps going on with the bars. So that tells me that if gear A's RPM is 100, then gears, gear B's RPM must be 33.3, let's call it. All right, so now I can kind of go now to my B to C relationship. And again, for its R to S, just the number of teeth, it would be 60, right? Because we have 60 teeth for B to 10. We have 10 teeth for C. And that would reduce down to 6 to 1, right, just by dividing uh, by 10 here. So that's for my teeth ratio. But then my S to R, which is the RPM ratio, would turn into a 1 to 6. Right? I'm just reversing my 6 to 1. So 1 to 6. Now, what do I know? Again, this S has to do with uh, gear B. What do I know about the RPM of gear B? Well, I know that this 1 represents 33.3. Therefore, this six has to represent the RPM for gear C. Again, the relationship we're dealing with is B to C, but we're focusing in on the RPM relationship or ratio here. So to figure out the RPM for gear C, I'm just multiplying 33.3 times six. And that number is 199.8. The question asked for the revolutions per minute for gear C, so that is my answer. When I round that up, I get 200, and realizing that this really should have been like a lot a lot more threes here, um, I'm pretty confident that that 199.8 is not too far off. Um, so the answer here is choice C.